Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Retro Collectors, and today I'm doing a video that I haven't I had the opportunity to shoot an intro for for about like a week or two, and unfortunately it was put on the back burner. So this is the Brampton Comic Con. I went to go visit it and see what it was all about. I did a few pickups there. I'm gonna showcase what the Brampton Comic Con actually entails and what it has. It's a vlog type style video, and I hope you guys enjoy. And we're back from the Brampton Comic Con. It's been a few weeks since I shot this video, like I said at the beginning, and here's what I picked up. I went with my wife and kids, and while I was walking around, they were, you know, they, we separated and they decided to, you know, look at some of the, the artwork that was there. Because there's amazing artwork from independent artists that were there. And while I was there, I was dumbfounded by what I saw, but I never really picked up anything for myself personally. So while they were walking around, they came across this bit of art, which really blew my mind. And I don't know where I'm gonna hang it up, probably my comic book section, but uh, my daughter picked it out and uh, really loved it. There was a Joker one there as well, which I really, really did enjoy. It's actually in the footage. It shows uh, the one where his face is actually like stapled onto itself, like he rips it off from the comics. I really, really wanted that one, and I don't know why I didn't pick it up. It was only like 10 bucks. I should have picked it up, but I just didn't. Uh, since I got this instead, I didn't want more art uh, just you know, loitering around in, in the basement. I wanted, you know, everything going in a certain location. So this right now I have to find a spot for in this in this basement right now. So I'm really happy that my daughter picked this out for me. When we actually walked in, uh, they actually stamped our hands and all that. And they were giving away two free comic books. Uh, it's like a comic book day there or a free comic book day. I don't know if this is from something else, but it's a Justice League and a Catwoman. Uh, mini series so there's a bunch of different ones so I don't know if it's actually they all fall fall into like this mini type of book of comic books I have it in this little sleeve where most of my comics are in sleeves like this so I'm not sure if these follow the same like the, the story arc that follows it follow the same size book or if it's you know 
in uh, actual regular size and due to being free it comes in this size uh, i read it through, i read through them they're pretty funny especially this just their justice league it's uh basically the little kids asking uh you know superman well this book is they ask superman uh via like twitter or whatever you know have you ever had a bad day and uh you know it shows superman you know going through his daily life and it shows him dealing with you know his version of a bad day and it's pretty funny i, I really did enjoy it and um this under the moon is kind of a little bit dark um it shows selena basically uh being abused as a as a, a kid and um you know what happens and i guess her story arc as to becoming catwoman um i'm not gonna spoil it for anybody but it's pretty it's pretty interesting read i would love to read the more the majority of it uh the next comic books, but i'm not sure if it is um if there's you know more of it so it does say here uh note this sample has been deemed appropriate for all on uh has not been deemed for all audiences this book is entirely intended for uh, adults under the age of 15 not for the un under the age of 15. so that was pretty you know when like i said when i read it, it was throw me off because when i read the the justice league one it was like you know pretty light and and, and whatever you know uh, to kids and all that and then when i read that that one it was like whoa that's a uh, it's a little bit of a touchy subject but it was pretty it was pretty good read nonetheless my daughter was looking around at comics and and images and like those that spider-man and the guy who drew that uh, spider-man gave my daughter a book with all his images and like a breakdown of all his stuff and what he's done in the past. A lot of it's really, really good. His name is George Todorovsky. It was uh, it was really cool that he drew that and he actually gave my daughter this, which was pretty, pretty interesting. And last but not least, I actually wanted this a while back when it was released and I never, you know, jumped at it just because I, I'm, I'm really stingy when it comes to stuff and i saw this and microids you know published this toki the retro lector edition and the reason why i wanted it the most is be just because it says the retro lector edition it is blew my mind when i first saw it uh caleb j ross uh, on his channel uh contacted me and uh, we were going back and forth uh whether i was gonna buy it on his side uh of the states because it was only released in the states for a bit and then it actually followed over here in Canada. Don't know why, or maybe my store was the only one that didn't have it at that point when it was released. When I saw this, I, I wanted to jump at the opportunity, but I just never did. So when I saw this at the Brandon Comic Con, it was a you know, half decent price. I decided I couldn't wait any longer. It is still sealed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna open this up or not. I heard the game is okay. It's nothing, you know, nothing great. It does have uh, a few, you know, collector's editions, which are, this is really blew my mind. This is a arcade. You can slide your switch into the top and connect your joy cons to it and be able to play like it's a, like an arcade stand, which is pretty cool. Toki, it was an arcade game that was ported to the NES and eventually ported to the switch. And uh, there's all hand-drawn graphics, which blew my mind. Cause when I saw the video of this on YouTube and people reviewing it, Really, really looked amazing, but I heard the gameplay is not that forgiving and it's not that great. So I'm uh, still on the fence as to whether I'm gonna open this or not. I only wanted it for the Retro Lector Edition, and if it didn't have that, I probably wasn't even interested in it, in it at all. But uh, this is a nice little addition to the shelf, and I'm glad I actually picked this up. Just having something named after you was pretty weird. It's not named after me per se, obviously it's not. This is just so happened to be you know, my channel name being the Retrolector and they decided to do the Retrolector edition. Uh, Retrolector is not an actual word. It was something that I came up with with Danny and we decided to, you know, combine the Retro and the Collector as a Retrolector. And <laughs> I guess they thought the same thing, the Retro Collector edition, which is still unbelievable. People still to this day call us the Retro Collectors, even though it's Retrolectors and it play on the two words. And uh, when I saw this, like I said, I had to grab it and um, I'm glad I did. So with that being said and that being shown off, I'm glad that I was able to go to the Brampton Comic Con. It was a great little show. It wasn't very busy. When I first walked in, I was kind of amazed that there was that many booths, but with not that many people there. And there was people still in, in, in costumes and walking around and face painting was going on. It was a really, really good time. And I'm glad I got to spend it. It was Father's Day there. 
And I was really glad to spend Father's Day there with my family and able to pick up some few things. Well, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. If you guys picked up this Toki Retro Lector Edition, please, you know, feel free to tag me on Instagram or feel free to tag me on Twitter and uh, show them off. Thanks, guys.